Welcome to Foam Week TV, hosted by SprayFoam.com. This is Heather Westrell with this week's Spray Foam news from around the world. This week we head out to Vero Beach, Florida, where injection foam insulation is being installed into the walls of a house being built for Indian River Habitat for Humanity. MER Enterprises DBA lead insulation used CFI's core foam masonry foam insulation to fill and insulate the block wall construction. Over the past several years, MER Enterprises has completed nearly 200 homes for Habitat for Humanity, including both spray foam and injection foam applications. MER is committed to energy efficient building and goodwill for the community. Keep an eye out for complete coverage of this story at sprayfoam.com. Next, we visit HMI, a concrete lifting company, announcing the release of a new polyurethane foam product. The RR401G concrete lifter is strictly used for raising concrete in the presence of water. HMI also announces a training seminar on October 13th and 14th in Wisconsin, where attendees will learn to properly handle HMI equipment, concrete lifting techniques, and foam materials like the latest RR401G. Finally, in Kansas City, Missouri, Gecko Western's Gecko Flex S20 roof coating is used to restore a failing roof at the Kansas City Airport. Signature Flight Support contacted Jim Clark, a roofing contractor from Clark & Associates, to apply Gecko Flex S20 silicone coating over the entire roof. The white color option of this coating not only reflects sunlight, but keeps the office area cooler in the summer. You can read more about this roofing job on sprayfoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and that's what's happening this week on Foam Week.